Today is Tuesday, July the 6th, 2010. And I wanted to make a video to help all of the audio files out there learn how to use a Hewlett Packard 334A distortion analyzer. I picked this one up quite a few years ago on eBay and I've used it many times. Very nice instrument. They usually run in the $200, $250 range depending on the quality. I lucked out with this one. This one's very nice and clean and, and functional. I did upgrade to a um, digital one made by Tektronix, but this one is still a jewel. I'm actually thinking about selling it. But before I did, I wanted, I've wanted i never seen a video on how to use it. There's some instruction out there, but it's kind of difficult. It's actually quite easy to use. I've got it hooked up. Let me show you our hookup here. First of all, we're using an old Fisher 70A amplifier. Here's our input. Our input's coming from a Tektronix SG505 low distortion analyzer. We're watching it. This is its actual output in distortion at 8 volts, 8 squared across 8 ohms. This is 8 watts. Here's our dummy load over here. And we're watching it on an old Tektronix oscilloscope. And that's our actual frequency output there, 2000. 11 Hertz okay with all that we're going to use this and compare it to this okay I haven't set this up yet so I'm gonna I'm gonna hook the input to it whoops first thing we'll do is crank it down here and they have to kind of flop around for a little while then they'll, it'll settle in in a second and it's beautiful though, it does work. There we go. Remember our 8 volts from here. 8.01. And uh, there's our 8 volts right there. 8, there's the 10 volt scale. So that's exactly 8 volts. Because here's our voltage scale right here, 10. The blue is the voltage scale. First thing we do after we measure its voltage, we have an idea is we notice that this is red this is red and this is red it's called set level we have to set level and then we have to put this one straight up and then with this one we can vary it see that's as high as it'll go on that scale that's as low as it'll go so we have to run it up a scale click this up one and then, yep, it'll let us go full scale now. Now we want to set this right on one. There we go. That was easy. Right on one. Now we stay away from these two. We just completely back off of them. We can have it in automatic or manual. It doesn't really matter at this point. Probably better to have it in manual. That's the way I like to do it. Okay, now that we've set the scale, we move away from these two controls. And now we go to distortion. Now that we're in distortion, we've got to find the frequency. Now this is times 100. Remember we're at 2 kilohertz, so we've got to change this to 2 over here. So we're going to have to turn it to about right there. And as we do, let me get back here. The meter should start going down dramatically. There we go. What we want to do is null it. What we're doing here, as I, as I turn this, what we want to do is null this, get it as low as we can. There we go. So we're nulling the fundamental frequency is what we're doing. So there's 20 times 100, which is our 2 kilohertz. Then we take the balance and we do it again. So by turning this one, well, this was the coarse one, the outer one. So we turn the coarse, and we get this as low as we can go again. Oh, yeah, that's good. There we go. That's, that's it. And now you can, with that much done, you can go to automatic. don't know exactly what automatic does, but it does help. And then we can start lowering our sensitivity. Because see right now we're on the 30% scale, 10% distortion scale. Right here. This is 3% distortion, 1% distortion, 0.3% distortion. There we go. Now we got a de decent reading. So if that's 0.3%, we're reading this scale right here. 0.3. So that would be. 0.17 thereabouts. 
0.17%. I think that's showing pretty good on the camera. And the distortion that Tektronix says is 0.18. Close enough. It actually is. I don't know which one's better. Quite honestly, this was a whole lot easier because it's microprocessor control. You don't have to do any of this hoopla. But this one right here is, is actually still a beauty. And uh, they're about a third the price. So if you ever uh, really get into making some nice audio measurements, this little HP 334A distortion analyzer is uh, actually quite a nice instrument. Hope this helped. Hope you enjoy.